The city of Konya lies at an elevation of more than 1,000 meters above sea level, on the edge of the central Anatolian plateau, and is surrounded by narrow plain. I would recommend to stay in the Hotel Rumi, centrally located within walking distance from major sites and with great views over the city. Konya has a reputation for being one of the more religiously conservative metropolitan centers in Turkey and is considered as Turkey's spiritual capital by locals. Most visitors stop here specifically to see the Mevlana Museum, one of Turkey's most famous religious tourist attractions, and a major pilgrimage site that contains the tomb of the Berlin dervish founder Mevlana Rumi, who wrote his famed poetry here in the 13th century. Although most famous outside of Turkey for his poetry, for believers Mevlana Rumi is revered as a saint, and his mausoleum is a holy place. After Rumi's death in 1273, his devotees were organized into a Sufi sect, which became known as the Mevlevi Order, but are better known as the Berlin Dervishes. Inside the mausoleum is not just Rumi's sarcophagus, but that of his wife and children, plus the tombs of six dervishes, the so-called soldiers of Harasan, who came to Konya following Rumi. The adjoining small mosque is now used to exhibit a collection of old illuminated Korans, clothing and valuable prayer rugs. A box decorated with nacre is believed to contain the holy beard of Muhammad. Across the courtyard from mausoleum there are a series of cells with a large kitchen which contains the aromas of dervish life and is connected to the dervish cells where Sufi followers lived and dedicated their life to pursuing knowledge, worship and teaching others. They house an interesting collection of objects from dervish life including clothing, textiles, bowls for offerings and large horns to inform the dervish arrival.
When I was planning this trip, most blogs said that there is no much to see in the city except Rumi Museum, what I don't agree. While we're wandering around market streets, I would like to talk a bit more about the city. Konya is one of the oldest urban centers in the world. Excavations in the city indicate settlement dating from the 3rd millennium BCE. According to a frequent legend of the Great Flood, Konya was the first city to rise after the deluge that destroyed humanity. The Konya region fell at different times under the rule of Hittites, the Phrygians, the classical Greeks and the Persians. In the 1st century CE, it became a Roman province under the name of Iconium, where the Apostle St. Paul preached during his first missionary journey. In the 11th century, the Seljuk Turks conquered the area, making Konya the capital of their new Sultanate of Rome. Under the Seljuks, the city reached the height of its wealth and influence. Following their demise, Konya had been taken over by the Ottoman Empire in the 15th century. Nowadays, Konya is a modern and cosmopolitan city with a population of more than 2 million people making it the seventh most populated city in Turkey, and it's also often referred to as the most religiously conservative city in the entire country. The city lies on a totally flat ground with the most sites of interest clustered in the city center and within walking distance of each other. There is a small hill called Aladdin Hill in the very center of the city, which is a man-made hill erected during the Seljuk period, so noble residents could easily watch the city below from their palace. Almost nothing remained of the palace and the hill now serves as the central park. Far from Mivlana Museum, in just in front of Rumi Hotel, where I stayed, there is a Turkish restaurant impresses not only with luxurious decor of the hall, but also with treats of excellent quality. In addition to classical national dishes, the restaurant serves a lot of interesting chef's masterpieces, and it's all conveniently located in the same area. And now is my main purpose of visiting Konya. The Berlin Dervish ceremony is called Sema and is the main devotional ritual of Sufis. The Berlin is a form of prayer and meditation that Dervishes believe bring them closer to God. Every Saturday there are Berlin Dervish performances at the Mevlana Cultural Center. Unlike some of the commercial performances staged in Istanbul, these are generally spiritual sessions.